Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we just saw this breaking news that we want to cover with you and, and want to recap again. We've been going through a period of elevated uh, KP index showing a geomagnetic storm that was in progress that did get up to a G3, as you see the KP at 7 here, and then stayed elevated for, for quite a while and has since abated. But we're, we're still being hit also um, by a lot of elevated solar winds. So as you look at the beautiful colors here, this is from uh, Canada. It, you know, again, you have to automatically be looking for elevated seismic activity. And that's exactly what we have over here in, in Mindanao in the Philippines. We see uh, 7.6. I've seen it anywhere from 6.9 to 7.7. .7. And so we'll have to see what they do at the final number. As you know, again, these things are subject to change. But where this is located, as we're going to zoom in here, you see uh, this they're showing at 5.3, an aftershock in the area. This is right just a hair offshore, uh, which is not good for tsunamis. So, you know, we do have a uh, tsunami, let's see, did the warning in effect. Yes, tsunami warning in effect. And so just be very, very aware of this if you are in the Philippines or even if you're not in the Philippines, if you're anywhere in the ring of fire, be very, very aware of the potential for more quakes. And, you know, obviously, if you're along the coastline, be aware of the potential for tsunami. So you can see this big one. I wouldn't be surprised with this magnitude. I didn't have a chance to check the heliplots, but I'm sure the Earth is ringing all over because this is a big one this is the biggest one we've had in maybe six months time or so and again we do expect that we're going to see a lot of increased activity especially when we flow into next spring i i think next spring is going to be one for the record books uh, as you see here the the people in the area here on the coastlines advised to seek higher grounds uh you know we've seen too many People get fl just swept away in floods. And we do have uh, this little video, as you see, the quote 7.7 .7 earthquake, which is obviously uh, nothing to, uh, you know, just brush off. So, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know about that. We have another earthquake swarm going on at Kilauea in Hawaii as well. It does feel like there's going to be a lot of activity coming from Mother Earth. This is over in Munich, Germany. Look at this plane. I mean, wow. it, it's sitting on its butt in the snow as Germany has been hit by record snow again. You know, we understand that there is an A-G-E-N-D-A -E underway that says everything is, is just going to melt away. Uh, but what we're seeing is is not that. It's, it's just incredible extremes. Yes, and if you have family anywhere out there, definitely be checking on them, be sending them good vibes. I think we should all definitely send good vibes energy toward all of these people who are going through severe change that they that they find some stability so uh definitely concerning you know but we also have to look at the earth and look at her conversation with the sun and look at that information going back and forth they are speaking and, and this is what this looks like um in times past we would know we would have the instincts to move out of the way we wouldn't have to be told and we wouldn't have to wait for uh, uh something horrible to happen we would just simply know like other animals like uh, birds and 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 deer and and everything else that knows to get out of the way um, but since that's been taken from us we do have to rely on other sources and also rely on each other to help each other out energetically and this is over in Uruguay, and you see the flooding going on over there, as they say, an El Nino spring continues in South America. You know, we've seen massive flooding all over the globe. Uh, I don't think there really is a spot that hasn't been hit with some sort of extreme. Uh, you guys, are, you know, obviously feel 
free to share what you've noticed and what you've noticed being put up in the in the sky as well mm -hmm. and i also want to say i mean yesterday uh probably the day before um I, I i like many of you i'm a bit of a walking barometer but i noticed some really strange pains uh in my head <laughs> in certain areas and it just felt like like a nail going through my head so i know that there was something going on yesterday and i think this is part of it so keep an eye on how you're feeling and your anxiety levels uh you know if you're having pain if you're having other issues if you're exhausted if you're wound up i know many people mike mike was really wound up yesterday kind of giddy in a happy way and another family member we were talking to giddy i i was um opposite giddy i was like wound up but um it was very anxious so pay attention to those feelings, those emotions. We haven't been taught really how to listen to them, but we need to. Absolutely. You know, Uruguay, again, uh, is uh, another interesting country. It's one of the freest. I think it was voted the quote unquote freest country and one of the safest countries in Latin America. Of course, anywhere along the coastlines in these times, I would be very, very uh, careful. And then not even on the coastlines uh, exclusively, anywhere where there's the potential for flooding. And, and as we've shown and, and talked about, you know, you could even have massive flooding in the desert. So, you know, it, it is absolutely a correlation going on between a uh, planet and the sun. And the sun is a relay in in my mind i always think of the sun as a relay from source and and the creator and it is absolutely trying to help us uh move past the uh dark system that is in place so again to recap here mindanao area in the philippines uh, we have anywhere from a, a 7.7 .7 on down to a 6.9 according to the sources this is obviously a very, very uh, significant. Uh, in this particular area, I, I don't know how many people are here. Uh, I know, you know, uh, when you look up here, this is Manila. So this is the capital up here. Um, very heavily populated. Uh, Davao City, I know, has a decent population as well. This might be more of just a resort area. Um, but again, the Philippines are interesting because they are absolutely an island uh, country as I think it is actually literally thousands of islands make up this this country. And it is one of the most um, you know populous countries on the planet. Again, uh, a lot of times places like the Philippines or Indonesia perhaps might get overlooked. Uh, in some ways, when we were talking about uh, the political power structure, um, but absolutely, you know, the, these these are populous areas. And, you know, as I've said, going back to 2017 on, on uh, evolutionary, uh, the, these are not areas I would choose to be in this time because everything can and will happen here. That And of course, you know, we're, we're born into a particular area, so... Higher self wants us to be somewhere at some point in time to do a certain purpose and, and discovering that purpose is is very, very illuminating when we do. And, and the only way you really find that is by going within and taking a look at your Vedic astrology chart. <laughs> it does help. Yes, it absolutely does. As looks like we have another one that popped up over here. Uh, so we have a 5.8 and a 5.3. Uh, interesting too and if you didn't notice Barcelona uh, Barcelona Spain and the Philippines uh, also historically uh, again this is an area uh, that was well taken over <laughs> by those uh, same forces that took over so much of Latin America and the Philippines is a nation in which you will find a lot of things with a Spanish flair and that's because Spain uh, basically took over this area and, you know, after the Spanish-American War, then the U.S. became a dominant force. You know, another thing, not, nothing big, um, but w I was looking at an interesting cluster in South Carolina uh, that's been g going on. And South Carolina, Charleston, 
with uh, uh, an active fault line does have the potential for uh, a 7.0 or greater and in fact had one uh, back in gosh i forget what the year was 18 somewhere in the 1870s literally liquefied uh, the ground and it's interesting too because when we look at the x marks the spot with uh, the eclipses, one of them exits right there at Charleston. And, you know, again, uh, it, we are just months away from that final uh, uh, X marks the spot or Aleph uh, marks the spot when we take into consideration all three eclipses. So this little swarm is, is small, absolutely very small. But it just hit me as weird. And, and, and you could see, you know, it's underneath the Monticello Reservoir. And I used to live in this area. I'm familiar with this. I've traveled all these roads very well. I don't think there's a road I haven't, major road I haven't traveled in South Carolina. Um, yeah, it's just curious. Now, when you look down to here, this is Fort Jackson. And we did see uh, swarming over here by the little town of Elgin. And when remote viewing it, we could see that this was absolutely an expansion of the underground tunnels uh, coming off of Fort Jackson. So it, I'm just curious as to if this is related to some sort of military movement, uh, deep underground military base activity. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was picking up something not of the natural variety, but these are all the things that we put together and, and we we take a look at moving forward um, and try to paint a picture of understanding anyway, huh? Yeah, and just to share how my mind works, you know, because I have one of those C-O-N-S piracy minds. Bishopville is right here. Now, Bishopville is really curious because Bishopville has a monster. What did that monster look like? It was sighted by, by numerous people more than once and in fact, it attacked somebody in in their car, and it tore up steel. Wow. And we're talking, I, I want to say this was back in the 50s or 60s, that initial report came in, because uh, it, it, it's it been called reptilian. And so, you know, it gets me thinking, I mean, did they have an encounter with a Draco or some sort of thing that escaped from Fort Jackson or you know one of the underground military bases in the area because it was famous the Bishopville monster maybe we should do a video on that so I love doing those type of things and I've driven through this area and and I did feel some sort of weird energy here you know and it sounds like it happened during a time when cars were made of real metal <laughs> yeah oh absolutely you know heavier duty um much heavier than nowadays where yeah. they could fold so easy so yeah some theorized where was it really an alligator did somebody run into an alligator the alligator got you know ticked off and bit the bumper and then others said no it was probably just a dog and and they even did tests like you know bite force tests and stuff trying to to duplicate it and some of course say oh it's just all a hoax but I digress. So again, to recap, guys, um, big activity 7.7 7 is what we're seeing over uh, in Mindanao as you were zooming in. And this, you could see how much activity. This is a 30-day scope of activity on the planet. And obviously, this is a busy, busy area. But this is what we're looking at. Uh, again, tsunami warning. Stay prepared, God bless, and namaste. Namaste.